Advisors. Okay, now it says live. Hey guys, welcome to Tremor Real Estate Advisors. I am Dustin Walden, and today we're going to be going over lead generation. Lead generation, what it is, and some different aspects to help you to lead generate. So first we're going to go over what is um, lead generation, and what are leads to break it down. Leads are potential clients that will either buy or sell a home with you or refer clients to you that will. Generating is the act of producing. So what we're gonna really look to do is produce leads. So the two ways to generate leads is either marketing or prospecting. There's two big differences in the two. I'm sorry, there's differences in the two and we're gonna go over those. So prospecting is seeking opportunities that are gonna make you money. Two groups that you're gonna to prospect to are gonna be your knowns and your unknowns. Um, your knowns are gonna be the people that are in your sphere, your family, your friends, past co-workers, um, just people that you already know and already know you. So the tools that uh, little to no cost to you that are going to be really good tools to be able to reach out to the sphere of uh, people that you know are going to be as simple as phone calls, text messages, uh, emails, lunches, thank you notes, things that you're going to reach out to with past clients, things like that. Uh, when reaching out to your knowns, remember that not everyone knows that you're that you're in real estate or that you're even in sales of any kind. Um, remind them without being so overselling. So let them know that you're in the business and that you're trying to generate some business through them, but not be so blunt about it. So um, if they may not be asking to sell a buyer now, find a way to make it a more personal and. Uh, a more personal outreach, whether it's a, a call, a text, email, you know, maybe something like, hey, how are the kids doing? Happy birthday, something like that. Anniversaries are good ways to reach out. Uh, just make it a more personable interaction with these people. That way it's not coming across as just a sales pitch to them and you're not just trying to bug them for business because nobody wants to be bugged just to try to give them something. Uh, let's see. How do you know? Um, or, hey, do you know somebody that's been thinking of buying or selling? You know, just simple questions you can ask these people that, not necessarily asking for direct business, but asking for business from them from somebody they may know. Because you never know, they might have a, a friend or a neighbor or something that's looking to sell their home, and that would be a good way to reach out and try to reach out to them that way. Uh, your knowns are going to be your, uh, are likely to be your easiest easiest approach to getting leads because those people already know you, they trust you, they want to work with you. Um, so basically these are going to be the easiest way to reach out without feeling so awkward about it. Unknowns, however, are going to be the people that um, don't know you or don't know what business you're in, don't trust you, or they may know of you but don't know, uh, know how good you are, know that you're a reputable agent. So uh, for some, you're going to need to step outside of your of your comfort zone. So this is going to be having to not necessarily how am I trying to put it? I guess you're not trying to reach out and not have something to produce with it. So um, what you're going to have to do is get used to being told no. So be or become con or confident in your presentation. Become confident in your uh, knowledge and your skill set, that, that's going to be a big way to reach out to people that you don't know and help comfort them and make them trust you. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of excellent ways to, uh, to meet people that you don't know. Uh, one way to do it is going to be through FISBOs, for sale by owners, open houses. These are going to be people that are already willing to, willing to sell their home. They're already looking for somebody to help them to achieve their goal. So this is going to be an easy route for you to uh, come up with some motivated leads that are already out there without really having to search too hard. You can always look through your MLS. You can look uh, through Zillow and things like that. They're going to help you show you where these houses are and uh, give you contact information to be able to reach out to them. Uh, let's see. Door knocking neighborhoods. It's a great way to be able to um, Introduce yourself to people that have no idea who you are, 
Uh, you can, if you're showing a house to somebody that maybe lives in a neighborhood but they don't like the house, go around and door knock the entire neighborhood. Find out who may be wanting to sell their home. Who may be interested in the neighborhood that may need to upgrade or has a reason they have to move. You already have clients that are looking in that neighborhood, so let's try to find them a spot that they're going to like. And the easiest way to do it is to go out and door knock the neighborhood. Uh, there's not going to be... Uh, there's no cost to that. It's not going to cost you any money to go out, and all it is is time and equity. It's going to be knocking on doors, introducing yourself to the neighborhood. Uh, the cold calling. <clears throat> There's um, cold calling is very. You're going to get told no a lot. You're going to get hateful answers and people that don't want to do business and have no idea who you are. Going to hang up on you immediately. So. Cold calling is probably not the easiest route to go as far as that goes, but it's going to help you get used to talking to people and getting out of that comfort zone of people you know. Um, there's a couple of different uh, applications you can use. I know that we used to use a system called Mojo Dialer, which will uh, generate leads for you and produces phone numbers based off people in certain neighborhoods and things like that. So that's a, that's a route you could take if you're looking at uh, trying to make cold calls and uh, get out on the phone and just get used to using your verbiage. Uh, social events. So things that uh, are going to allow you to be able to meet people going to social events like uh, uh, get-togethers, after-hours parties, things like that. That's going to help you to introduce yourself and meet people that you normally wouldn't have in front of you to meet. So uh, going to events like that are going to help you to um, introduce yourself to a, to a vast, vast array of people that are going to uh, either do business with you or hopefully refer business to you in the future. Uh, so in, in turn, so what we're, um, what prospecting is, prospecting is seeking leads. So the opposite of that, however, is going to be marketing. Marketing is attracting leads. So whereas prospecting, you're out reaching and trying to grab new leads, Marketing is going to be presenting something, a, uh, a product or a service that you offer that you're going to be able to spread out for people to see, and that's going to be able to make them come to you. So the differences in prospecting and marketing are a little different, but they generally give you the same result. You're trying to get, it's a lead producing activity, you're trying to get leads from it. Um, two different ways to do it. Uh, social media marketing. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok even. Uh, the most modern, easily accessible form of marketing. Videos of showings, uh, just sold, just anything you can do to be able to post something is going to be a way to get a, a different audience out there. Um, me personally, I've got thousands of friends. Make one post and then, you know, even if half of them see this, 500 people that are going to see a post you make. Could be anything, could be just as uh, simple as, hey, I'm in the business, this is a market update. Just things like that that can uh, get you some traffic into your, into your uh, social media pages. Uh, an old school way of doing it um, is going to be newspaper ads. If you've got a uh, open house, a just listed, something like that. Newspaper ads are, are a, way to, a way to reach like an older demographic of people. Um, that older generation, they still read the newspapers. They don't necessarily have the social media platforms and things like that. So they're, they're still going to get their information from the newspaper. So could be a, it could be a good way to go. could be a, a route that some people are going to want you to take. Uh, a lot of people think that, you know, they listen to their house. Why is it not in the newspaper? So... You may end up seeing that at some point. Billboards. They can be pricey, but with the right billboard ad that can stand out, that can be a great way to uh, get a return on your investment. So, you know, if you've got, just putting your picture out there saying, this is who I am, it's not really a catchy thing, but if you come up with a good slogan or have uh, something that just stands out to people driving by, that's going to be a great way to, uh, to reach an, a new audience of clients as well. Uh, mail outs. It's a great avenue to reach neighborhoods. Um, if you've got a, a home that's just listed, you can mail out, or mail out uh, just listed postcards out to the neighborhood. That way everybody knows the house is for sale 
and they could tell their friends, family, neighbors, things like that. Um, just sold, you can mail those out that way. People know that, hey, uh, this house down the road just sold. My house is nicer than that. What if we could sell our house? You know, th those are going to be ways to uh, really stand out as far as uh, reaching out to certain neighborhoods and specific places. Uh, sponsor, sponsoring uh, leagues and sports teams. That's a great way. I, I've done it a couple of times. Um, local uh, sports teams, little league teams, baseball teams, basketball teams, sporting events, leagues, things like that are going to be great ways to help your community as well as getting your name out there. Uh, going back to the hosting events, happy hours events, um, it's a great way to connect with past clients, family members, um, just anybody that's in a social environment that you can invite to it. You want to be able to be seen and interact with as many people as you can possibly get in front of. Uh, the more people you know, the more um, people you can get in front of and sell yourself to. So it's not necessarily what you're selling. You're not selling a product, so to say. You're selling your personality. You're selling yourself. So you want people to trust you. You don't want to necessarily... Hey, I'm this, I sell this, I do this, I'm this good. You want to be able to have some sort of uh, product or service that really stands out and that people really want to work with you and they trust you enough to make the biggest, uh, biggest purchase of their entire life. Um, so essentially, uh, the main difference that I'm going over today is uh, marketing versus prospecting. So marketing is, again, you're attracting leads, you're setting up a service, a product, something that people can cling to you and come to you and not necessarily you don't have to reach out to them. So make whatever advertisement you're doing, get it posted out, um, however you're doing it, um, that's going to be able to, uh, like I said, it's going to be able to create a, a bigger sphere of people that is going to be able to come and work with. Whereas prospecting, you're having to do the dirty work, having to get out, you're having to uh, make the phone calls, uh, make the social media posts, doing videos, door knocking. Those things are going to be real important as far as trying to get out and garner new leads. Um, so the key here um, is to come to the table with a service. You don't want to, like I said, you don't want to just, hey, this is who I am, this is what I do. Um, selling this and this is the business we're in. You want to be able to provide a service to them, like I said, that makes them want to trust you, makes them want to work with you, and you want to make them want to refer new business to you. So in closing, the main differences, like I said, is prospecting is as simple as seeking and marketing is as simple as attracting. So uh, lead generation, Time blocking is, is very key. You want to set around a couple hours each day, set apart some time where you can make sure you're doing the things you need to be doing. If you've got early morning blocked off to do your phone calls, your social media posts, things like that. Um, maybe you have two days a week where you're doing just prospecting and then a couple other days a week you can do your marketing. So you need to be making videos videos, social media posts, things like that that are going to be able to get, like I said, another audience out there that normally wouldn't be in your sphere. So that's pretty much all I got as far as that goes. Anybody have any questions? No? Okay. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it, and hope this helps.